Hey everyone, so I am in the hospital. <laughs> it's not the type of video that I wanted to make at all. Just a quick story. TMI, this is very TMI. I peed, blood, like bright red. No pain, no nothing. It was just a huge shock. It only happened once and then like the next morning I had some like brown blood, but it scared the crap out of me because I was like, oh my God, I'm 18 weeks. I'm like miscarrying, I don't know. I'm not miscarrying, baby's fine, baby's wiggling, moving, <sighs> happy. So I went to the clinic, went to the hospital, they made me wait, like I couldn't even go to the ER because they were like busy. <laughs> they made me wait till like 8.30 a.m. so I couldn't sleep, um, but there was no blood the rest of the night, so I fell asleep for like three hours. Went to go see the doctor, doctor found that I have like a low placenta, I don't know what that means, but he, think he saw like the blood was coming from that place um someone said that they had that before and they had perfectly healthy babies um but the blood could have come from that but i also have bacterial infection still um and it hasn't gone away i took antibiotics for it but it's still there so they're like kind of creating me through an iv drip um they give me this like medicine that's like making me feel really jittery to like avoid the bloating and like uncomfortableness but they're giving me like antibiotics through I don't know if you can see, let's see. This IV, IV drip and it's painful because like my veins are like non-existent, but I'm in the hospital for a week, for one week, you guys. And I'm sad because my husband can't visit, he can only drop stuff off and we can FaceTime, obviously. The nurses are so wonderful, um, the doctor's great. I'm glad I'm here because I'm being monitored. I'm out of breath because I'm pregnant. I'm gonna use this time to just like document the food that I get because it's freaking amazing, you guys. At least I have food and it's amazing. Um, that's the only good thing. You're gonna see me without makeup every day and I have to get an IV drip twice a day for three days for 30 minutes each. I might be able to be released earlier, but I just wanna make sure everything's okay and gone. Baby's healthy. This is day one. This is day one. This is my room here. I have my lunch. It looks amazing. Allergen free. Got salmon. You can see salmon, rice, soup, vegetables, salad, tea. I have a shower and a toilet there. I'll show you properly later. Closet, um, refrigerator. It's like a little hotel room. And this is the thing to call the nurse. The beds are so uncomfortable because the pillow, they only gave me one, but I'm going to ask for two. Um, but yeah, I'm going to eat because it's been sitting here. I've been talking to my family. Anyway, it sucks. I'm worried about the baby. I saw the baby was fine. I can feel it move. I just miss my husband and I'm just hanging in there. Kenyuji brought... Oh my god. Ryuji brought all this stuff. He's so sweet. Oh, I'm gonna cry. It's just hard. I'm trying to eat, but it's not easy. At least, like, the hospital is, like, super comfortable. <laughs> like, I have my own private room. Yeah, Deirdre just brought me some stuff. I'm eating my lunch. It's like 130 per night. There's no insurance that's used for this. It's just like $130 per night, or I guess you could say 130,000 yen. Is 130,000 yen? No, 13,000, sorry. 13,000 yen per night with like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I love the food. That's one plus about this place, but I miss my husband. I'm sorry, this is like such a downer video. I just can't believe this is happening. I'm gonna take it easy now. All right, so Gucci got me some slippers. So we're gonna use those. He got me his sweatpants. These look nice. New towels, bath towels that I can use. Um, pads, just in case. Mask, three needles, and thyroid medicine, almonds for a snack change for some reason. 
Maybe for the vending machine? Oh my god, he's so cute. Okay, that's that. Alright, so we have some pajamas. Hopefully they fit. He just got them today. <laughs> pajamas. Not sure if the pants will fit. We're gonna try. They're really stretchy. They're medium size, but in Japan that's like a small. We got Lirakuma PJs. Hidakuma PJs. I should probably not take all these out. Magnesium, contacts, um, makeup wipes, skincare, razor, toothbrush, glasses, pumpkin. Cute. Chargers, clothes. Everything that I need to relax and recharge iPad. Okay, so I got my Lilakuma pajamas on. They actually fit, which is nice. I'm sad that these don't like go up so like I can like sit up better, but I asked for two pillows. So I'm gonna rest until my next ID and then we'll have dinner and That'll be the end of this day, you guys. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna get up and give you guys a tour. This is my Dida Kuma pajamas that Duji bought, bought me. They're so cute. All right, let's get up. Baby bump right there. Um, he brought me this little pumpkin. I drew the face, but he brought it for me because it's Halloween. Here's the closet. There's nothing in there. I didn't put anything in there but my shoes are there, so. Pillows and blankets. I was able to open the window. I cannot go outside for like a week, but at least I can get fresh air. Um, this is, I don't need this thing, but there's a TV I can watch anytime. This is my like private space. This is what it looks like. It's really nice, lots of lighting, I like that. This is the shower and the bathroom, so. Hi, <laughs> I'm so big now, baby's okay, baby is safe. I'm gonna do lots of meditation, you guys. Look at that bump. <laughs> it looks like the, don't have anything under here. Toilet paper, perfect, good to know. Um, we have, wash my hands here, and then face wipes or whatever toilet has a washlet, which is nice. And then this is the shower. I can't take a shower until tomorrow morning, but they give you shampoo and everything. It's like a little tiny one room apartment, which is kind of cute. So that is the dealio of this. And um, I have a little refrigerator down here. I have all my bags here, and then I'm just gonna get some rest over here, so. That is the tour of this little hospital room. And the nurses are so nice. They're like having conversations with me, asking about my family, asking about where I'm from, just getting to know, know me and having small talk. And I haven't spoken Japanese in like a really long time so extensively. So it's like nice to use it again. I'm really grateful for that, that I've learned the language enough to communicate with the nurses because I can't imagine what it would be like if you didn't know like anything like at all yeah so just wanted to show you a little hospital room i love whatever this is it's so good my husband brought it for me it has mango orange uh apple and uh oh prunes are inside this oh this is nice i didn't know that and i guess it has like extra iron and things like that it's so good you guys it's so amazing and my body has been craving this um they also told me i need more vitamin c so this is it guys i looked under the bed and there's a the tommy mat underneath here it's so weird it's like a futon this thing my husband to bring my makeup because I look hideous. I have a bit of a headache. Um, I think I need to drink some more water. 
like mountains of water. Dinner has arrived, as you can see. I am like over the moon with, I'm like excited. And the pork is only seasoned with salt and pepper and olive oil. And she didn't put any sauce on it or anything. I do have some quinoa soy sauce. So I might put some on there, but I'm okay with eating plain stuff. Like, am I weird? I don't know. It's like perfect portion size. We have fruits, we have soup, we have mashed potatoes or potato salad. I love potato salad. Spinach. I am like, I love it here. I don't love it here, but like I love the service here in like hospitals and things like that. Baby is moving a little bit. Um, I haven't seen any blood since the other day, so things are going okay. Hopefully I can get some sleep tonight and tomorrow will be better. I'm looking forward to the breakfast, but I just don't want to see any more blood that scared me so much. Oh yes. Okay, so this is what a dinner looks like in a Japanese hospital. So we have spinach, we have mashed potatoes, we have oranges, we have um, the daikon radish and like all that stuff. I have a soy allergy. I developed it like two years ago, so they didn't put any soy in this. It's like soy free, peanut free, because I've always been allergic to peanuts. Everything is so good for you. Ugh. This makes me want to cook like better. I don't know. It looks amazing. Um, so I got the last IV of the day. I still have kind of a headache, so I'm just going to keep drinking water. It's probably because I didn't get enough sleep last night because I was so worried. And I cried because they did a baby check, so like you have to check to hear the heart heartbeat. And everything's normal and fine, and baby's heartbeat is beating normal and moving, and I feel it moving, but when I... Sorry. I heard the heartbeat, it was like, when I heard the heartbeat, I just started crying, I'm a mess. It's only day one, and I'm like bawling my eyes out, everything's gonna be fine. I'm gonna shut down soon, and just go to sleep. Call my husband, of course, he's so amazing.